Hello there. In this video, we're going to take a look at Social Squared inside of SharePoint Online. Social Squared is a discussion board that can be used inside of SharePoint and also Microsoft Teams. But in this video, we're going to be focusing in on how to use it with inside of SharePoint. So as you'll see in here, I've got a number of different forum groups which can be designed around your business. So this could be for educational, uh, it could be for different departments or different projects, whatever it may be. Uh, in this particular example, I've gone through and created some different forum groups for different technologies inside of Microsoft 365. So you'll notice here we've got a forum group for SharePoint, a forum group for Teams, uh, one for Planner, Excel and Word, etc. And in each of these different forum groups, there are different forums, such as on-premises and also online. So if somebody was going to post a question about SharePoint, they could decide whether it's best posted under the on-premises uh, forum or also inside the online forum. And that helps other readers to be able to come across different questions that are being asked inside the same category. But also it will help subject matter experts as well to go and offer their help to fellow colleagues or team members uh, within inside of the different forums as a subject matter expert. So what we're going to do is post a question. So I'm going to navigate here into the on-premises. Uh, forum and we're going to go in and uh, see the different questions that have been posted. Uh, so in here you can see uh, these are all the different topics. Uh, those that I've not read uh, such as this one here by demo user 5 is going to appear in bold because I've not read it yet. Um, and uh, we've also got the ability at the top here to go through and add a new topic and that's exactly what I'm going to do uh, in this case. So in here I'm going to ask a question about Microsoft Fever. So uh, in here we'll put uh, Microsoft Fever as the subject and uh, inside the body i'm going to just write a little note here to say can you tell me what microsoft fever is and uh, i've got a little picture on the clipboard here which i'm just going to drop in uh, taken from the microsoft fever site so uh, in there we'll just tag that as well And we can also position the image wherever we want inside the post and we can also resize it and what have you. Now you'll also notice at the bottom here there are some tag suggestions. So as I've gone through and typed this I've of course used uh, some different uh, words such as Microsoft and Viva and so on and if somebody else has used tags before against similar content to what I just wrote then those tags will show up as suggestions and that will keep the consistency across my tags as well. So there is actually a tag created for Microsoft Viva so I'm going to go through and select that and I may also want to add my own tag as well such as uh, Microsoft Viva Topics which is actually a thing. So uh, we'll go through and add that one. Of course, we get that at the insights and, and things like that too, if we wanted to. And just while we're in here, notice that you've got a full rich text toolbar. So if you are using Social Squared for a similar reason to, uh, to the one that I'm doing here, um, for, for sort of technical questions, notice that you can drop in uh, code snippets and retain the formatting of that code inside your posts. Uh, you can also insert things like YouTube videos and stream videos, images and things like that too, as well, of course, styling your post as well. So I'm ready to add my post. So I'm going to go through and click on to add. And that post has been created. And uh, you'll see here, it's not the, uh, the the one that appears at the very top, um, simply because uh, that one was, was pinned and you can see that this has been pinned here, um, but it is uh, showing inside the, uh, the, the forums of which we can, we can go through and navigate. So that's how we can go through and, and create a post. Now, unfortunately, that post, um, which we can see here showing up, is uh, not yet answered, but we can go through and, and answer it as different users and so on. Other readers can also do things like like my post, they can vote it, they can rate it. Uh, and uh, if they do respond to it, we could also go through and mark that response as answered as well if they gave a, a good description as to what Microsoft Fever is. But um, one of the things that we may also want to do is, uh, is, is put this in a different forum because at the moment there's a question about Microsoft Fever under the SharePoint on-premises forum and that doesn't quite make sense. So notice as somebody that is an owner of a site or if you were a moderator as well, one of the things I could do here is just go through and move that topic and we could select the SharePoint online uh, topic and, and move it there. Or better still, maybe we can consider actually creating now Microsoft Fever as its own forum group. So, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, so at the moment, it's appearing under SharePoint Online. So there's my question about Microsoft Fever. Uh, but uh, let's go through into the settings of Social Squared, and we'll add a new forum group 
So uh, let's click on to uh, add new forum group. So in here we'll create Microsoft Viva as its own forum group. And with inside uh, the Microsoft Viva forum group, we're going to add some, some different forums. And there's four different elements to Microsoft Viva. There's topics. So in here we'll have post questions regarding topics and uh, I could specify who is the moderator uh, for that particular forum as well so if we had a subject matter expert on Microsoft Viva topics we could add them uh, we also have one for connections as well so I'm going to go through and add uh, connections in here of course I could give that a better description and we'll do one for learning and finally insights Okay, and uh, in here, if I wanted to add a moderator, as I mentioned, I could just start typing in a moderator's name, select that user, and they can start to, to moderate these posts as well. Now, the default behavior when you do create a post that is being moderated is for it not to show until it's been approved, but we have a choice over that. Uh, so I can actually select this to say, yeah, allow topics to be created uh, without actually having to, uh, to be approved but the moderator could still take that down uh, if, they, uh, if they wanted to. So that's a, a brand new forum group now with a brand new forum, which you can see appearing in here, ready for new topics and so on to be created. So let's just drop back into that SharePoint Online uh, Microsoft Viva question. And uh, we could now move that down under topics within Microsoft Viva and, uh, and off it goes. Uh, we've now got that new post appearing under topics. So we're maintaining the consistency of all these different posts and, and where they're appearing. So there's also the ability to subscribe at different levels in here as well. So if I was a subject matter expert on Microsoft Viva topics, what I could do is, uh, is go in there and subscribe myself. So I will be notified on anybody creating new topics in here in the future. Uh, we could also subscribe at the uh, discussion level as well. So notice at the top here, I can subscribe there. So uh, so that's very uh, helpful uh, to be notified about anybody replying uh, to this particular topic. And you'll also notice that there's uh, some other views down on the left hand side here as well, um, such as the tag cloud. So if we go into the tag cloud um, in here somewhere, uh, Microsoft Viva has been mentioned a few times, so we can click onto that and that will jump straight through to any topics that contain that tag. Uh, so that's a great way of, of navigating to, to content based on tags. And we've also got the ability to search that content as well. So if I had a question about Microsoft Viva, um, I could do a search on it before I post my question to see if anybody else has actually posted similar things. And uh, if they have, it might be that I could go in and just read one of those. And uh, of course, see if there's any replies that have been marked as answered. And if this actually does uh, answer the question, then there we go. We can go through and mark that as answered. And that's going to be really useful for anybody else coming across this post inside of Social Squared. So that's kind of in general how to to use Social Squared. You'll also notice down on the left hand side here, there's some other useful views like user posts. Uh, so if I like, you know, I'm getting good feedback from, from Demo User 9, for example, what I could do is just go ahead and see well, what else did Demo User 9 post about. So we can do a search here, select Demo User 9, view their posts. And if I like what I read, then uh, what we could do is click onto that user and decide whether I want to follow or unfollow Demo User 9. Uh, so that way, any Think that gets posted by demo user nine. Uh, if it's a, a new post, even if it's in a forum that I don't follow, I'm going to be notified about the fact that demo user nine has posted. And uh, you'll also notice some other views as well, like active users. Uh, we can see uh, people that are following us and people that aren't following. Uh, we've also got some recent activities that have taken place as well, and uh, also things like popular topics, which are, are useful views to to take a look at. Now you'll also notice that the design of this, it's um, it's blue and it's based on the, uh, the the theme that is applied inside of SharePoint. So notice if I go through and change the look uh, with inside of SharePoint, as we expand the theme here, if we go for that SharePoint uh, teal color, uh, then I can go through and select that and notice how Social Squared reflects that design change um, as I go through and select some of these. So some of these can be a little bit scary, but most of all, uh, they're, they're pretty nice designs. So that's how we can go through and, uh, and use Social Squared inside of SharePoint. And of course, if you want to know more details on that, then 
click book a demo just above you and uh, we can go through and get that scheduled and we can talk about your needs uh, for social squared and, and how it can be a good fit for your business um, also just before we, uh, we sign off if you're interested in using this functionality in teams uh, then notice that the exact same web part is available in teams as well and uh, I'm actually sort of dual posting here because uh, as you'll see under this social squared uh, teams tab we've got the same forum groups and if I just refresh the page here we'll see the Microsoft Viva popping up Okay, so there's the uh, the Viva uh, with the different topics. So I could go through and uh, reply to one of these topics myself. Um, so notice here we can just click in here and put great post and reply to that. And as I jump back to SharePoint, so anybody that's actually using the SharePoint site, if I reload that now, notice we can see that reply in SharePoint as well so for your users that prefer to use teams they can those that want to use SharePoint they can do that too and if you want to learn more about how social squared works in teams then just click the button a bit further down the video and uh, and you'll see there's a link to the teams page okay many thanks